TCDI and the Vice Chairman at the Board of Techman. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. Pleasure so, to be here. Tell me a little bit about your background and how long you've been following this space and how you've started you know, tracking all things, the Internet of Things. Well, I've been in cybersecurity for quite a few years, uh, doing consulting, uh, responding to incidents, and helping companies be compliant with uh, regulations or just to adhere to best practices. And it just covers such a wide variety of different things. And IoT, of course, is, is one that's gained a lot of, uh, of concern as, as well as uh, you know, a lot of opportunities out there. So certainly it's something that's uh, been on my radar for quite a while. I can imagine because, you know, almost every time we talk about data, the next thing to follow is, you know, privacy and security and how do we manage sure. and handle that data. Um, so there's a lot of it now with a lot of, you know, cars, phones, gadgets, everything these days has a sensor. They're in our homes. They're just about everywhere. And so the influx of data is coming in at a rapid rate. Um, how are organizations thinking about managing that as it relates to, you know, keeping it, you know, secure and protected? And how are consumers thinking about that as well? Well, the organizations are trying to, one, just be able to uh, uh, process and, and handle all of that data, uh, store it, uh, work with it, and, and gain some sort of intelligence from it. And then as consumers, there's certainly a lot of concern about, okay, well, well how much of this data can be used to, to build a picture of me, uh, it, w what can be used to, to allow me to do more, but then also uh, what's going to be uh, build up this more, more of a digital identity. Uh, about me, and that has a lot of privacy concerns, especially in the EU. Right, right, yeah, absolutely, and it's becoming you know a, a bigger topic globally as well. You know, we've seen a lot on you know data breaches that are happening, you know, in a lot of different places, and so it does give consumers concern. But on the flip side, we know that data can be really incredible and generate a lot of good and give us a lot of insights and predictability. Mm -hmm. So where organizations are in a place where they need to make the most of the data that they have, and how do they leverage it? They need to protect it. How are those investments changing? Well, there's a, there's a change in, uh, one, allowing the sensors to, to be able to do more. I mean, encrypting and, uh, and more uh, higher levels of authentication on the devices. Uh, then also on the, the processing and monitoring of the, of the data. Be able to really get a good picture on what do we have, uh, you know, are, are all the devices functioning correctly, are any compromised or anomalies. And so that requires a, a very intense infrastructure, uh, a capability of, of building the right types of models to understand the data, uh, to understand what, uh, what a security event looks like. And, uh, and that's where, well, a brand new and uh, entry into the space it doesn't really have some of that expertise. So there's some who have been building the models, who've been uh, looking at this data, uh, better understand how to then work with it and secure it. Absolutely. And so how do you expect some of these investments to change over the course of the next five to ten years? We're only going to see more data. Do you think it, there's going to be, you know, different types of considerations that are happening for organizations large and small? What, what are you seeing and hearing now that's giving you a, a view into what's going to happen over the course of the next five to ten years? Well, I certainly see a, a big merger between you know, machine learning and, and IoT uh, being able to, you know, there's more than a, a human can really understand it. So humans will build the models and, and some models that will be extrapolated even from, from existing computer models to better and mature this, uh, the machine learning or artificial intelligence of, of analyzing that data in, in a, and finding new uses for it, finding uh, new ways to identify uh, how it's being misused as well. So what are some of those challenges that organizations that you're working with today are really facing in terms of trying to put together you know, a strategy as it relates to data protection? Well, one is getting their arms around it. There's, there's so many different options and, and, and they're adopting IoT. The good news is that many have come kind of with a, a bit of security uh, thought process behind it, more so than in, in some past technologies that were adopted primarily for just functionality. But here we see uh, still some that are adopted and later on you go, okay, now how are we going to secure all this data? Uh, so that's it's part of the challenge, is after it's in there, after the, the you can say after the glow is, uh, is gone, what do we do? How do we secure it? Uh, that, that's part of the challenge and just handling a, you know, a vast amount of data. And so we talked a little bit about you know, AI and machine learning playing a role there. Clearly that leads to automation, which I think is going to play a very large role in ensuring you know, best practices for data protection. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about the human-machine partnerships as it relates to cybersecurity and protecting all of this data. How do you see that transforming as we head into 2030? Well, I see that you know, machines taking on a lot more of the uh, some of the, the basic analytical tasks. And it's even more than basic, but you know they're going to continue to mature and be uh, make more intelligent decisions. They're going to feed up into the humans. Uh, humans 
are always going to be a part of the process. We're creating the data in some ways, and now machines are creating a ton of data on, on these sensors, but in, in a way that interacts with humans. And so humans are going to be a part of the process in, in analyzing uh, what the, the machine learning algorithms produce and, and determining how to deal with that data and, and ultimately making decisions about the data, because that's what it's about. It's about having, having some sort of insight. And so the insight is designed for, for us humans. So if, if I'm an organization and I'm looking to think about my IT infrastructure and how I'm thinking about storing and data protection, what are you know your top two best practices? Uh, one, well, be able to have the, uh, you gotta be able to, to scale properly. Uh, having a bottleneck at any, any point is going to inhibit not only the functionality of the device, but also the functionality of the security. Uh, and uh, being able to just keep, keep tabs on everything. Uh, understand what your data looks like and uh, be able to monitor and, and control that. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Eric. This was a really fascinating conversation. Clearly, there's a lot to think about as we look at data. It brings a lot of good, but we got to make sure that we're protecting it and treating it the right way. Yes. And you're on Twitter as well, at E. Vanderberg. Yes, I am. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for our next guest. We've got Tamara McCleary coming up to talk about artificial intelligence and machine learning.